for tonight in our matchup. Brent should be exciting to watch. Yeah, it may not be about the outside shooting in this one either. These teams like to involve that front court and catch the defense while they're napping. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Shoots. Ooh, pops the J after a cagey pass fake. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. We've got 128 left in the opening quarter. The Pelicans pull it in. Great defense. Can't let guys get open looks inside the arc. And we're about a minute into the first. Three-pointer. Nails it from beyond the arc. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Ten feet away. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Oh, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Oh, showing off the soft touch. Quality turnaround jumper there. And he drives in, and it's rejected. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, they find a way to get it done. Credit the shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense. Can't hit the free throw line jumper. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Pelicans ahead. They lead by five. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and hey guys what's your take on the Pelicans so far it's just excellent first quarter defense they've been really getting after it. just a, a great job really of making the game ugly trying to muck it up a little bit out there If you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star grid? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. With some arc, and it's good on the lay-in. Showing Number off 16. with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Pass to ABC. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That was just great work to battle through contact and will in the shot. First team foul. At the line for LA, number 45. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. New Orleans in the lead. One sixteen left in the first half of this one. And that one, good. 
defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Can't get a second shot to fall. Now one of two. So it's the Pelicans now. Inside leaner. And it's ABC with a rebound. The Clippers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Right wing. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. There's 45 seconds left in the second quarter. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming this way. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for the Pelicans, number 79, two shots. down the first one and that's good as he hits both shots we're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now Rebounded by New Orleans. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Yeah, just hold for the last shot. Don't give them another possession at all. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. To the paint. Two on the clock. And it's flushed down. A nice jam can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there the assist really the key to that entire sequence That's the end of the first and so, just about ready for the second half here a big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly and Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. And for the Pelicans. And that one is stuffed right through. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. So it's the Clippers now. They trail by 11. A minute 22 left in the third quarter. Out to the wing. Tries it from 16. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Good shot, gone bad. Got to finish there. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Englewood, designed to give fans every comfort. And the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, you better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Ali. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Unable to get that one. The Pelicans have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. On target from range. Give him eight. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Hey, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. 90 seconds into the second half now. Foul Clippers. Number 45. First personal foul. Substitution for your Clippers. Number 20. Number 29. The Pelicans have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And a miss there on the triple. The Clippers have gone just one of three in the second half. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And he's playing the game with a certain flair right now. Oh, he caps off the move with a little hang time on the rim. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's New Orleans up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And the Pelicans with possession here. To the wing, right side. Clock at six. And the basket is good. The Clippers really having a tough go here. So for New Orleans right now. Knocks down the triple. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. We've got 113 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. The Clippers running out of time. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Pelicans. When you look at the stat sheet, it's impressive this wasn't a total blowout. Their offense was in top gear all night long, Grant. I thought the same thing, B.A. I mean, the difference in field goal percentages is pretty shocking. Misses from short range. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Pelicans. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Here's New Orleans. It's a 13-point game. And it's off from three-point range. To the inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And so New Orleans takes this one by a large margin. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Full 